How am I supposed to steal this land that's rightly mine with her snooping around everywhere? Welcome back to Gaming for Grandparents. I'm Echo Pearl. So let's get into the game for today. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe. Welcome to part two of Farmington Tales. This is their second version, Winter Crops. And I got this game from Big Fish Games. So I actually had to restart the game because I messed up. So I'm picking back up where we left off in part one. However, you're going to notice that we have a lot more crops this time. And I'm going to show you how you buy things in this episode. So at the bottom center of your screen, there's the word that says shop. And when you click on that, in order to build anything on the property, you have to buy the blueprint first. But once you get the blueprints, then you can, then you can build greenhouses. And it helps to build greenhouses because your crops are going to help you make money at the market. So you have five greenhouses that you can buy, but you can choose the design once you get into building them. Once you buy the blueprints, then it's going to unlock some farming options that you have, as well as animal upgrades that you can make, all in this shop area here. Once your greenhouses are built, your, plow, your fields are plowed, then you can go in and choose different seeds. Right now, all we can do is strawberry and pumpkin, but other seeds will unlock as we progress in the game. So I will probably fast forward through a lot of the watering of the fields and planting the fields and harvesting the fields, things of that nature. Um, but I'll go ahead and show you just what that looks like for a couple of times and then you'll get the hang of all of this growing crop stuff. In the lower left of your screen, you will see that it says market. You can click on that to see what crops you may need to grow what crops you've run out of. If you click on the items, then you will be able to see how few items you have from all the hidden puzzle games. So you may need to go do a hidden puzzle game to have additional items to sell. So now you're just going to see me watering the plants by just clicking on them or harvesting the plants. And then I have to click back in the store there to plant more seeds. Um, and it's just going back and forth, planting seeds, harvesting seeds, plowing fields. Um, and you'll do this throughout the game and you'll just keep maintaining your crops throughout the game. Just like what I'm doing right now. So on the left side there, you see a little hammer and wrench in a circle with an arrow. When you buy the blueprint, those pop up. And this is my next location for my next greenhouse. Because all I've bought so far is just greenhouse print blueprints. I don't have enough money right now to build that. Um, it does cost 300 But because I'm growing crops, I don't want to buy it right yet. Because it costs me money to, buy, uh, to plant crops. Um, plow the fields, things of that nature. Um, so that's why I'm not building that greenhouse yet. But it'll come. So now I'm looking at my shop again to see what I can potentially buy. And I decide to go ahead and buy another cow stable, another chicken coop, and another sheep pen. So that I can increase um, the number of animals I have. But you have to build the stables and add the stables into the picture. And see how I'm getting all of those hammer and wrenches. It's because I just bought the blueprints. But it's going to cost me um, $1,100 to add on to these tables. So I don't have the money right now. So I can't add any more animals yet. But I decide now. And I have in every one of these blueprints you have three choices. Um, some of the choices are too cartoonish for me personally. Um, but you see, it costs $50 to plow the fields, and I don't have enough money to do anything, but at that moment, I only had enough money to plow the three out of the four fields. So, but once, you know, customers come in and buy stuff, then I can add more seeds, things of that nature, 
So, I'm adding some more seeds and just trying to plant some more crops. But, I've run out of money again to do anything but play a hidden object game. But this kind of shows you the milk, the eggs, the wool, strawberries, and pumpkin. So that's where the crops are at as far as those are concerned. Um, finally have enough money to pile one more field and harvest a field. But I'm just going to go play a hidden object game and let the market um, start selling. So we're in the basement and... At the top again you have hints um, where if you get things from left to right but I also have the quest that I need to do um, and those are and each time you finish one of these HOPs you may have another quest to do um, so on the right hand side are quest items where you find something for somebody else bottom of your screen is to play this game Right now, I'm trying to figure out from left to right where these items are at so I can get that extra, you know, 10 points, 20 points, or coins. Because it just helps with the market and being able to buy what you need to expand your farm. So we'll fast forward through this. Um, uh, it, you'll see at the top um, it flashing when I actually have accomplished each one of those things and you can get an extra hundred dollars so that works pretty good and sometimes you have to manually rearrange the market so after every HOP you have to fix some type of mini puzzle I don't know why but my brain typically cannot wrap itself around these type of electrical puzzles so this is the only one I accomplish in the entire game I skip all the others so the crops need regular maintenance. You always have to stop and replant seeds, harvest things, whatever. I don't have enough money yet to expand on my stables. But in the bottom center, we see that we have quests. When you click on that, you can accept no quest. In this case, I need to find a brace breastplate. So I've selected play, and the only ones you can play are the ones that are not dark. So I tried to play the ones that are dark, but you can't play them. So we're over here, I think, in the sheep pen, and I'm going to try and find the quest items, which is a desk bell and a breastplate. I don't think I have the breastplate in this one, but I do have a desk bell. We'll see if I actually find it. Um, but then I have to find, of course, all the things at the bottom as well as the little gems. Um, I don't know that I ever... There it is. <laughs> so I did find the desk bell. I'm just going to fast forward through the rest of this. Found everything. Auto filled the barn. Or the market rather. So I have to reorganize my bells. Okay up in the upper right hand corner. Another quest. Box of tissue. And a map. So two more quests. And now we can come over here. And this is one of those weird forms of Tetris. Where you have to prevent the hay bells from getting stack too far but at the same time um yeah i'm always amazed when i watch this type of stuff back at how long it takes me to move things around um <laughs> it's like i can see it clearly now that i'm not playing the game but you need to get 40 the bar over there tells me i needed to get 40 and you have to prevent it from getting over the fence all right we're gonna be on the bridge this time i think i forget to grab the breastplate that's on this bridge um even though that's one of the objects i need to find um but you know i always look for the stones first the little jewels and uh, now i'm just trying to figure out okay right to left on the screen and i'm so caught up in the hint that i forget all about the quest that i'm supposed to do I also need to be looking for a box of Kleenex and a, or box of tissues rather. Uh, well, at least I found the map. The breastplate is on the wagon and I click it right after I finish finding everything. So a mini puzzle is that we have a heater that's broken. I actually like these puzzles because it's just moving these different shapes around. But the shapes that are dark are set. So they're already in the correct place. So I just have to find out where everything else is supposed to go. And typically they make some type of pattern. 
but this is one of those mini puzzles that I like. Um, don't like all of them, but I like that. I like this one. So you will see me complete it. Back to harvesting, planting, plowing, watering, and uh, yep, yeah, we'll cut through this. So I have enough money to build the sheep pens, and I have three options. This is the blue option. This is a teal version or option. And this is the red roof option. Throughout this, you'll see that I'm choosing the red versions because it tends to be more cohesive with other builds throughout the game. Now I'm starting with the sheep pen because the wool makes the most money in the market. Because I built the sheep pen, I have opened up the potato. So I have the option of potato seeds now, so now I'm going to plant potatoes. And they do make more money than the, the strawberry and the grape, so I'm actually going to now plant a lot of potatoes. Alright, I believe this is the wheat field. Um, so and I just have to, you know, grab all these things. There's not a breastplate, I don't think, here. And I don't think there's a box of tissues here. So fix the market and go from there. That darn Kaylee girl is getting on my nerves. Apparently, she found some loophole in the Rara Act, making my life difficult. How am I supposed to steal this land that's rightly mine with her snooping around everywhere? If my bank is going to be funding this here oil dig, I could certainly make things tough for Floyd and Dahlia. I could, um, charge extra ATM fees? You're going to have to do better than that. Um, delay his new checks from being shipped? Oh, yeah. That'll really slow him down. All right, so grabbing some more quest, and we have to find the mask and shields. So now that I've built a better sheep enclosure in the barn, I have to add additional sheep pins before I can add additional sheep. So I still don't have enough money to add additional sheep yet. Okay, so again, this is one of those where when I'm editing it, I find it. So I needed the breastplate, box of tissue, shield, and mask. And there's box of tissue right there in the center of our frame. And I found that. But there's also shield in the lower right corner. And I failed to notice that was a shield. I thought it was a wheel when I was playing the game. But of course, editing it, it's a shield. I should have grabbed it. I didn't. Hey, pup. Have I ever showed you my favorite game, Poker Tear? <laughs> oh, I haven't. Well, it's a combination of poker and solitaire. It's like poker for people who don't have any friends. Uh, but, but that's not me, though. I got plenty of friends. I do. Like, uh, uh, like Jim. Yeah, Jim and, uh, uh, uh Jim's cousin. Uh, I don't remember his name. Hey, you want to play some Poker Tear with me? So the object is to get three of a kind, I need to get two of those, and two pairs. So I have one pair here, and there's my second pair. And then I can just throw this over, and then boom. Now I only have one left to get. Alright, so we have aces here. Check. Oh my goodness. I'll just go ahead and take advantage of this. There you have it. Um, since I have sevens here, I'm going to go ahead and commit this to... There. Alright, so now I need to get three of a kind twice. Alright, I have used one queen there. But... See what we can come up with. Okay, there we go. Three of a kind there. And then let's just see which one of these is gonna give me a third one. There we have it. So I can do the nine there. And there we have it. And that's how you play that game. So 
it won't reward you until you get what it requires here. All right, so I bought three stables. So now I want to buy three sheep. And the reason why I started with sheep is because if we come over here to the market, milk gives us 18, eggs 15, but wool gives us 20. So if I can get more wool, then I'll make more money in my market. Go ahead and gather the quest. I have to find a globe. Go ahead and get the milk. Alright. Now before I can plant any seeds, I've got to play this puzzle here. So that's why I'm just collecting them. They'll be in the market for people to buy. Meanwhile, now I can come here and see about collecting these seeds. So I have to get it to where the corner is the same. So like this, the four corners are the same. So I'm able to grab that up. And the object is to turn all of this base. Why did you start me over? Oh, you started me over because apparently I didn't have any more moves. Okay. Um, the object is to turn this entire thing dark. So watch what happens when I pull these out. You'll see that on the right hand side it'll still be one color, but on the left hand side every single one of those blocks will be a darker color. So that's the object of this game. So now I'm going to grab these. And now to win, I have to get just this side here. Problem is, I have to have four to make that work. So I can do four here. Like, I can do this and just start the whole thing over, which allows me to get those and allows me to get those. But I can't get this one block. And I only have a few more moves to do that. out it moves don't have the gold in the right spot. I may have to just restart this. Oh, nope. Look at that. I found it. You probably saw it before me, but there you have it. some of those. Now I have $2,200. So now I can make my sheep pen bigger. Or my cow pen. Cow staple bed bigger. I'm just going to stick with the red. I do have the options of going with the other colors. And now I'll go ahead and make the chicken house better. Now I'm down to $100. So let me go play some more games because I do not have enough money to really that much but that's why I went ahead and built those other the cow stable and the chicken coop is because now it opened up the tomato and the wheat oh good 
I've got some money there. Okay, so let's go ahead and wheat. Wheat actually makes the most money out of all these crops at this stage. So trying to really flood it with wheat is a good thing. Because right now, potato is doing good at 33. Um, and of course, the more expensive the item is, the crop is, the longer it takes to actually um, grow. But I'm going to go ahead and flood my little area here with some wheat. And then I will go back and find something else. You want me to go in the kitchen? I'm going to go, I think. I'm going to go into the barn model. You have choices. Whichever one of those is um, highlighted white, that's your options for going into these different places. Alright, so I have a shield and a globe. So I'm always looking over here at my quest items. Then the second thing I try to grab is the little gems. Now it's saying lowest to highest. Okay, so I have a toy car here, net here, egg there, traffic count. So I can go egg, toy car, traffic count. There you go reverse alphabetical order and I need three of them so padlock is here pair of boots padlock and I just saw the net where did that go um gas can there we go is this a field or a breastplate that's breastplate okay um, reverse order as they appear on the screen. So I have to go dunt, 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 dunt. So that's how it works. So scrub brush, air, freshener, there's the net, mallet, and diving mask. Find every collectible gym. I've already done that. Thank you. Collect an item before the hint. I haven't used a hint yet, so. Alright, let's see here. Pitcher, dustpan, doll, and where's the balloon at? Right here. Alright. As I see that these are like starting to leave too many gaps I'll move things around so so I did a few minutes of in-game voiceover most of the time the music will wipe out my voice so that's why I tend to do voiceover during editing and I have mixed feelings about bogging down the videos with hidden object puzzles and me looking for something I just prefer to show the progression for you of the animated story and how the farm transforms as you add additional things to it. But this is it for part two. I hope you stay tuned for part three. Because obviously the ultimate goal of this game is to beat the bad guys that are greedy. Thanks for watching. I really want to encourage grandparents to stay mentally active through gaming. I want to mentally challenge them with strategy games and task management games and creative games like Minecraft. So if you appreciate my effort in trying to encourage your grandparents to stay mentally young, please let them know about this channel and let them know it is free to subscribe. There's no cost. And again, thanks for watching Gaming for Grandparents.